So, Gahil, I, I, I hate to. Uh, is that my, am I pronouncing your name right? That's pretty. That's pretty darn close. It's a little bit, but more of a G than a K. But it's Garquillo, yeah. Garquillo. R G. Garquillo. 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 A little bit of a soft R, but you know. Garquillo. Garquillo. Yeah. Garquillo. Well, I hate to interrupt you. I know you're preparing for something or another. You know, um, but we we would. I wanted. To, my question was this. Um, I have, uh, or at least on my maternal side, uh, my grandma, my great grandmother is full Mohawk. You know, my uh, great grandfather is, uh, you know, from the Gullah, Gullah people. And I was wondering, in that line, that Mohawk line, is there an equivalent to, uh, say, uh, Red Cloud, the Sioux Nation? You know, and you gave me a very interesting, uh, interesting answer. Could you uh, let, let me know what that was again? See, in our culture, we don't... But, we, but first we should say, you are Mohawk. Yeah, I, I am Mohawk. Gunyo uh, Geha. Uh, of the Gunyo Gahaga, the people of the land of Flint. That's uh, that's our how we say what most people call Mohawk. But in our, in our culture, we don't heroize. So we don't take an individual and lift them up and hold that that person, that identity, that specific person um, in, in some sort of worship, um, either in name, um, you know, or specific identity. Oftentimes we'll, we'll create a story that will account for the same type of accomplishment or, you know, or, or whatever that person represented. Um, mm-hmm. In fact, even when, when we die, when we, when we take, when, whether we are a, a person in a, in a specific, uh, say, chief position or title position, what we call mm-hmm. uh, uh, mm-hmm. whether you're somebody in a specific title or not, you don't take that title to the grave. And in fact, my own name, Garjillo, when I pass away, I won't take that name to the grave. Hmm. That name, um, I will be referred to as the person who was known as that, ah. but Garjillo will not, will not die. Ah. You know, so, so we don't... Well, hold, hold on, hold on. So, Garjillo, you won't take that into the grave, but that means that somebody else can inherit that, that, that I, I want to say position, what, that inherit that, that... That name. That name, yeah. That, that, that name that means something. Yeah, and in, in, in my case, the, the name means um, a good woods or forest. Um, shortened up, they say good woods, but uh, EO always means good. So Garjillo means a, a good forest. My son's name, uh, really kind of coincidentally, his name is Ganaratio, uh, and that means good leaf. Uh, so, but um, oh, you did that on purpose. No, I, I, I didn't make that decision. Those choices aren't made by you know by parents necessarily. They're usually really? made either by oh, usually sorry, by the clan or yeah. well, how, how did that happen? How, yeah, usually, it's made by clan or you know elders in a family and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's not usually necessarily the parents that give that that give the name. But again, so the point is, we have people in our history that did very very notable things, and but oftentimes even when we tell the story. We will we will use a word or a name uh, when we talk about the formation of the of the the uh, five nations, for instance. When and it wasn't even the formation; it was more of a reunification. We refer to the 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 person who helped ha- that happen as uh, the peacemaker. He, what, you know, some people say his name was the Ganawida, but that wasn't really even his name. That was uh, that was what people called him because the Ganawida actually the the, the word. The name translates to somebody who has um, extra teeth, or two rows of teeth. Dega means two. Dega no wida. So that obviously wasn't a name they gave to somebody as a child. That was a, that was a name that people referred to him because he had a bit of a speech impediment. Uh, so when we refer to somebody as something like the peacemaker or or Dega no wida, that's not actually the name. And even the uh, uh, the name uh, that he's associated with the person that he he works to to bring the five nations back together uh, is a name people are familiar with because of Longfellow but the, a, a person who was called Hiawenta or Hiawatha mm. Hiawenta is actually a title it's not even a specific name so that wasn't actually the person's name mm. it was the title that he that he bore yeah. so I mean, so our stories are not necessarily um, tied to individuals now. I'm not saying that uh, the influence, the European influence, and this whole uh, male dominance and all that other stuff has an, inf- uh, you know, affected us. We 
So we end up uh, uh, giving note to folks like Red Jacket, Red Jacket, who was a Seneca. Um, he was actually uh, so Sugoyetta. He was actually a Seneca war chief. Um, we remember a few people like Corn Planter and his half uh, and his half brother who carried the title. Uh, uh, so um, uh, they call him Handsome Lake. But but again, we wouldn't call them. Uh, handsome Lake or Escanio de Rio because he's no longer with us and that's a title that somebody else sits in today. Mm -hmm. So we kind of fell into this idea of heroizing individuals but that's only in a post-European contact um, uh, you know uh, from that standpoint. Mm -hmm. In our culture we wouldn't uh, we would create a story that would that would um, relate a perhaps a historical happening or, or event but um, it would not necessarily be a, a literal account of you know, who said what who did what and, and that kind of thing so it takes the individual and turns it more into a, um, an accomplishment of people rather than an accomplishment of individual I get you. I, I want to linger long on this but it makes sense to me because it's e not easier but it's better to remember a story than to remember a, a, a person because still no you're going to have to tell the person's story so I, uh, anyway thank well you. it also uh, uh, and the other reason it makes sense is because now you start to heroize an individual so you can create almost a cult following around an individual uh, rather than the accomplishment and and usually the accomplishment may have some key people involved in it but it's usually an accomplishment of a people not an accomplishment of an individual thank you so very much sure